Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Charlie here. So we have another filing scheduled to be published tomorrow on the Fed Register, and it's going to be the SR NASDAQ 2021-007, an order instituting proceedings to determine whether to approve or disapprove a proposed rule change to adopt additional initial listing criteria for companies primarily operating in jurisdictions that do not provide the PCAOB with the ability to inspect public accounting firms. Now that is a lot to digest, which is why I'm making this video. I'm going to go ahead and break this down as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and get started. So the timeline for this filing, it was first filed on February 1st of this year. On the 16th of February, it was published to the Federal Register. On the 26th of March, the SEC designated a longer period for comment. And then tomorrow, this filing that we're discussing is scheduled to be published, which will be instituting proceedings whether or not to determine to approve or disapprove the rule. And then all comments and rebuttals are due by June 25th. So what is the PCAOB? So the PCAOB has four primary duties. Number one, they register public accounting firms that prepare audit reports for issuers, brokers, and dealers. Number two, establish or adopt auditing and related attestation quality control, ethics, and independent standards. Number three, they inspect registered firms, audits, and, con and quality control systems. And number four, investigate and discipline registered public accounting firms and their associated persons for violations of specified laws, rules, or professional standards. So what is this rule all about? In essence, the NASDAQ is concerned that national barriers preventing the PCAOB that we just discussed from inspecting countries outside of its jurisdiction is impeding regulatory oversight of U.S. securities in other countries. You think? They are redefining the term restricted market to allow access for verification of financial statements. So pretty much, the NASDAQ prior was not able to go into these, quote, restricted markets based on the current definition that's in place. So part A of this filing essentially is redefining that term to allow NASDAQ to go beyond their previously limited jurisdiction to gain access to information that could lead to more accurate accounting statements. Now, accounting statements, things like 13F, 13G, things like that, things that we've known and we've seen, Melvin, hiding information or potentially hiding information. This should hopefully put a stop to that and allow more accurate audits and more efficient audits. The exchange also states that not only them, but similar concerns have been expressed by members of Congress, the State Department, and the President's Working Group on Financial Markets. So this is a obviously a growing concern amongst a lot of different entities within the financial system. So another aspect of this situation being brought to light. This is what we want to see. Nothing wrong with more accurate audits. So in summary, straight from the filing here, NASDAQ further states that it believes that restrictive market companies present unique potential risks to U.S. investors due to restrictions on the PCAOB's ability to inspect the audit work and practices of auditors in those countries, which create concerns about the accuracy of disclosures, Melvin, accountability, and access to information. More potential access to information that could lead to more effective audits, promoting a fairer market, and a more transparent audit trail. So there you have it. That's, in essence, what we're looking at. And uh, if you were wondering what JTTT means, it means I'm jacked to the tits. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. I'll let you know if anything else comes up.